everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a do-it-yourself picture hanging that you guys can put anywhere. And this one is Beauty and the Beast and it was actually super super simple to make. Um, so I did have to change a little bit of my background so I'm on another wall and I didn't want to take the decorations down from the first wall that I had. So I decided to make a couple of new ones. So this is going to be hanging up there. It is going to be a video with a voiceover, just so you guys know. This video is actually going to be a two part tutorial. Um, so in the first part, I'm going to show you guys how to do this one. And then in part two, I'm going to show you guys how to do another one of these, but it's a little bit different. So for this video, it's just going to be this one. So without further ado, let's go to the video and I'll show you guys how I made my wall hanging. So the first thing I got was just a picture frame at the dollar store. I got some wooden letters as well as I printed off my silhouette and I wanted it in white and then I have a lot of scrapbook paper around so I thought this one was really pretty so I decided to use that one. So then I took the frame apart and I wanted to make sure that my scrapbook piece of paper fit inside the frame so I just measured it and you can trace it and cut it but I just decided to cut it. So now that my piece of paper fits inside of my frame, I'm going to cut the Beauty and the Beast silhouette. So once that's all done, then I'm just going to figure out where I want to place the beauty and the beast. And I kind of put it in different areas and I finally decided on this one. So then I wanted a saying or something on the piece of paper. So I decided to go with tail as old as time because I thought it was super cute especially being the Beauty and the Beast theme. So once I was happy where it was at, I just put some tape and I started to just put it on the piece of paper. You can use any kind of glue. I just used this tape, which was giving me a little bit of issues, but it worked out in the end. So then I wanted to put a little bit of gold paint on my letters. So I just took some parchment paper just as an underlying so I didn't get paint all over the place and I just decided to paint all of the letters. So once they were all painted, I just decided to let them dry for a bit and then I'm going to put them on my paper. So once everything was dry, I just decided to put my wording on the paper in the certain pattern. And once I was happy with it, then all you have to do is just glue it and you can use regular glue. I just used the tape glue that I had before and uh, I think it should be fine. So 
So now that everything is all glued, the only thing left to do is put everything back in its frame. And that's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys soon.